This is a quick tutorial on how you can use the Smith chart to find your antenna impedance giving an auto tuner parameters and an SWR of 1 to 1. <clears throat> First, let's assume that there's no feed line. Now you can solve this problem using trial and error using the Smith chart as follows. First, start up your Smith chart program. Unsurprisingly, I'm using SimSmith, but any Smith chart program will do. Since we don't know the antenna impedance, we'll just leave it at 50 ohms. Then we'll draw in the LC matching network that we got from our auto tuner. In this case, my auto tuner was 730 nanohenries and 152 puff. Let's make sure that the frequency is set properly and let sure that make sure that we're looking at the path display. Now the path display on SimSmith starts at the load, which we've set at 50 ohms. This is here in the middle of the chart. And it plots how the impedance changes as you progress left to right through the network. So in this case, the magenta causes the impedance to move up this line. The green shows that the capacitance makes the impedance move along this line. Now since we have an SWR of 1 to 1, the goal must be to change this load so that the generator sees 50 ohms, which is to say this X is in the middle of the chart. I can do that by simply coming up here and doing a trial and error. And I can keep playing with this kind of until I run out of steam. It's kind of a clunky thing to do. Uh, SimSmith has a feature whereby you can drag and drop this particular impedance around in real time. So I'm going to move over here. I'm going to double. I'm going to right click on this and drag it around until the X ends up in the middle of the chart. So there you have it. In order to have this tuner topology and an SWR of 1 to 1, your antenna must have this impedance. Now, of course, that's assuming that you had your auto tuner connected directly to the feed point of your antenna. That's probably not the case it's probably the case that you have a piece of feed line in between. So let's put in a piece of feed line here and I'm going to change the model to use an RG8X model and I'm going to say that I have oh silly number say 8 feet. Now I have to change my antenna impedance of course because my X is no longer in the middle here and to do that, I can kind of drag, again, I'm going to drag this point around. Where am I going? Uh, I'm going to get right about It's pretty clunky. There you go, close enough. So that shows that if I have this tuner topology, and a feed line, then my antenna impedance must be 2.7 ohms with a reactance of 12.83. Now, that's how you can do it with any Smith chart program, but SimSmith has some features that you can find this much quicker in a much easier way. In essence, what I want to do is run the Smith chart backwards. What, in essence, what I want to do is say, Starting at 50 ohms, how can I run this backwards so that I can get back to my antenna impedance? So I'm going to blindly run this backwards. So backwards would be 50 ohms at this end, and I got to run the topology backwards. So I'm going to change the topology. And to truly run it backwards, all the impedances have to be negative. So now, 
In order to get 50 ohms from my antenna, I would go through this topology backwards, and here's my antenna impedance. 2.8 ohms, 11.81 reactants. In this case, it's exact because I started with 50 ohms. Before, we were almost at an SWR of 1 to 1. We were close, but it wasn't exact. That's why this number is slightly different than before. So there you have it. Using any Smith chart program, you can run it forwards and play with the load that's necessary to give you an SWR of 1 to 1. Or with SimSmith, you can run the Smith chart backwards, starting at 50 ohms, adding in your tuner topology, adding in your feed line, making sure all the values are negative, and compute what your antenna impedance must be to deliver your SWR of 1 to 1. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Thanks for watching. This is Ward Harriman, AE6TY.